Geeks, what is going on? Unite the Clans here, back in your life with another episode of the Armacrog. I've had a bit of a busy week. I've been working like crazy, and I actually had some family in town for Canadian Thanksgiving. Uh, Thanksgiving is something, if you are not from North America, that North Americans do in the fall. We eat like kings or pigs, depending on your perspective, and we're supposedly thankful for that. But usually it's a time to get together with family. Uh, and so that's what I did. We did it a little bit early. Um, and then if you're from the States, Canadian Thanksgiving is always early, about a month early, compared to you guys. And I'm trying to find where we left off. I th oh, no. Don't go up there. Yes, so we left off having solved puzzles in this game, seen some cool cinematics, and I, oh, I get you. And I think we, uh, let's just peek down first before we unlock that thing. Right, okay, we do have to go. Maybe that, maybe once we go up, we go down and, no, that would be a loop. That's a fool's move, there's no way it's that. Okay, now we go this way. We have unlocked the future for ourselves. Here we go, we have disembarked. Or we shall disembark. All right, now I think this will suck us back up, so let's not pull that. Look at them crazy birds. Look at those crazy birds. This game has got such cool style. You know, I... Oh, I know exactly what this is. Yeah, you drag this down. Drag this up. Put that up there. And now we gotta get the bottom piece. Which will be... Here we go. One step at a time, don't be Yeah, play that music. Too easy, child's play, damn Armacrog. This fortress is hardly impenetrable. Ooh, a purple room. Clearly made out of an accordion. This is, game is so cool looking. What are you? You're a dog food bowl. You're a glowing hole in the sky. You are a green thing. You, I can take downwards, I hope. Hop on it. Get down. Oh, I need to click on that octopus. The last one gave me a crazy psychedelic mushroom trip. Okay, what is down here? Um, I need a lever. Okay, we gotta go find a lever. Maybe we'll be shooting down some dang birds. I hope so, these things are annoying as hell. Something trippy's happening here, guys. We're getting looped around. I say we go right. Cause that's, we're coming out at the same spot. There's some trick going on with this room. Maybe that's the accordion nonsense. It's Jason Spear, Bob Dahl, Elliot Balo, Skello, Tetsuya, PKM Zog, just All right, they have levers on each of them, and a crank lever. Okay, nothing happened there. Are these like animatronics? Get cranked. I can't crank it. Okay, further right we go. That looks kind of familiar. Oh yes, I remember him. An alien messed with him and his wife, and stabbed him in the back, and now he's a ghost that lives in statues. Okay, hey t not why don't you go press this button? We'll see if we can bring this dang statue to life. We clearly need to get through there. Hey, statue. Inspire others to great heights, and your objectives shall be reached. A small room is a tall room, depending on where you put the floor. Mm-hmm. Maybe that is what was going on. Does he have more genius for me? But lay it on me, handsome. Although peaceful by nature, we do have some light artillery. <laughs> this operation requires a correct answer. Answer. Oh, yes! Play the epic music! We've discovered something grand. Let's go back through here, because we did kill the light- Yes, we did kill the lights. Uh, okay. This is pretty obvious, guys. Uh, so, these astronauts each have a color on their chest. I can't see what they are anymore. Uh, so, you know what? Why don't we turn on the lights? I'll figure out what the colors are, and I'll start playing with these. I think these are pretty obvious, because... 
There's only red, yellow, and blue on the outside, so I think it's about combining colors. Like if you, maybe I have to crank a guy's lever. Crank old Elliot's lever. Yes, so, so now we got purple there. See, okay. So we're gonna go, we're gonna turn on the lights, I'm gonna memorize these, and then I'm gonna solve this mother effo. Green, red, purple, blue, orange. Let's do this thing, kids. Oh Lord. Oh guys, the lever really messes things up. Red. This has to be orange, so you crank. Yellow, and you crank you. Yeah. Crank it. Yes. Okay. Purple. That's gonna be easy, isn't it? And red. Crank this guy. I think I might got. I might have got it. Guys, I just need to make this purple. This center guy purple. I think I do it like this. I think I click Skello. Skello, do t give me what I need. Yes! A door has opened, I believe. It sounded like the one to the right. I heard it all in this ear, right here. Yes, a door has opened. Guys, we have unlocked something grand. This is easy. Oh, we don't tell me where. There's no way we're escaping, right? Push the damn thing, Tommy. Over. Oh, you fool. Push it. Like a man. Like a man would push it. You get Beak Beak on the button. Then you take old t Knot. Oh, Beak Beak, you're supposed to get on a button. Get on a button, you fool. Stay there. Tommy Knot, go do your thing. Come on, man. Yes. I'm not escaping. That's a, There's a lever up there that I need. I believe that's what's going on here. And then this is gonna... All these puzzles, all these riddles that old man ghost statue has been telling us are gonna, are gonna be clear. Consider this to travel faster. You know what? We're gonna see Could you it later. Could it be best to travel farther? What the hell did I click on? Desperation. No water for days. Could be five. Everything is empty. There is no food on this craft. P does not seem to mind. She remains healthy. But seems sad at the sight of Mava and I starving. More desperation. I have decided the only thing to do that might save us. I will use the soul transfer device to put myself into the ship. Then, I might be able to figure out how to operate the ship's foreign controls. Mava reminded me she would only give me one minute. She wasn't going to risk any more time. And I went into the ship. I could sense our place in space. Nearby planets and stars took shape in my mind, and their names came to me, although I'd never seen them before. P's crib. The baby. P's crib was being pulled Aboard by a desperate looking crew during the heat of battle, the ship's door was sealed before taking off. The crib was chained to the wall. P was force fed cans of beans to increase her output of plutonium. In panic, I pulled my mind from the computer. I told her the bad news. We were about to crash land, and there was nothing we could do to stop it. I repaired the power grid, using the green engine room as a power generator. We fed plutonium into the grid and it offered more than enough power for anything we needed. What it basically tells us is that little baby that we found is named P, which is what she said when we first picked her up, when T-Not first picked her up. I thought she was going to P, but her name is P. Not only that, but she's able to generate the resource we need. So using the green engine room as a power generator, we fed it into the grid and offered more than enough power for anything we needed. I'm not sure if this helps us, but that was really well written. Um, there were mistakes in it, but it was really, uh, engrossing. So we need to find a way to lower this room, I think. Somehow. I don't know. But we have a lever. And the lever can go in here, and we can start popping these little mofos. Yes! How cool is that? What a good looking game. How neat. I love this claymation game, man. Um, Doug Tenabel has done a wonderful job with this. Can I use this gun? Oh, I can. Uh-oh. This is from Abraham Lincoln. Tick. Tick. 
tick, 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 tick. But I don't know why this is going green. Geeks, that's gonna do it for this one. The next puzzle looks like one that is gonna take me a while to solve, and this one has already gone deep, this particular recording. This has been the third episode in my Let's Play of Armacrog Geeks. I'm not sure when I will get you a fourth, so bug me if you're missing it, and I hope you have liked the series up until now. Thank you for watching, guys. I am Unite the Clans, and I will see all of y'all in my next video. That's a good conservative play here, yes! Nice and high, that's one of the better clears I've had all game and centered for nobody. Shit, why doesn't anybody go on the break? It's a tie game. We'll send two men on O. This. <laughs> that's one of the worst things I've ever done. <laughs>